stupid. Hey guys, it's Cassie. I'm back. Um, the reason I'm back is because I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, and I honestly wasn't really planning on making any more, but my abstract flower video has like strangely a lot of views. And um, if anybody knows like how I'm getting those views, is there a link being shared? Is there like, are you just searching abstract flowers? Like, I'm really confused as to why it has so many views. So please let me know in the comments. Um, if that's how you found me, welcome. Uh, my name's Cassie. I love to paint. I am by no means a professional painter, um, as you could probably tell from my videos. But I do love to do it. Um, and so I just want to share what I'm doing with you guys. Um, but so my old abstract flower video is not really how I paint flowers anymore. I have a new style that I've been trying out and so I just thought I would kind of do an updated version and share it with you guys. So, if you wanna learn how to paint these flowers, I just hit something, um, then please keep watching and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be taking black and using that as my background color. So I'm gonna be coating my canvas in this black paint. It's gonna take two coats. You can use literally any other color you want, anything your heart desires. Again, this is your world. This is your art, so make it something you like. Okay, so once that's dried, I'm just showing you that I'm gonna be taking three different green colors. I had to slow this down because it actually goes by super fast, but I'm gonna be adding them all to the same place inside my palette. Sorry, it's so dirty. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking a spatula kind of tool and just putting it in all the colors and swiping it out to kind of form like a loose leaf shape. Um, I just like the mix of colors in here. You can add more dark to the bottoms of the leaves or more light to the top. In a second, you'll see that I'm going to take a white with a hint of blue color, and I'm going to be using that just to add a little highlight to my leaves. Um, so yeah, just anywhere I think that there's supposed to be greenery, I'm not filling it in completely. I like the spaces where the spatula doesn't really get to naturally. So I like to just kind of leave those. I want it to be messy. I want it to be as abstract as I can make it. And again, this is what I was talking about. I'm just adding some highlights in here and having a grand old time, adding them wherever my heart desires. <laughs> All right, so now you wanna make sure that you dry these leaves because you don't want the paint getting mixed in with the leaves. You don't want the green in the flowers. So I'm taking a yellow, a blue, and a red color, and I'm just adding them all to my palette. They're not touching, um, but I'm going to be using this mustard yellow color as the base for my flowers. You'll see that I take the spatula and I'm just creating kind of very loose circles slash, um, What's that shape? Pentagon? Pent? I don't know. Anyways, so I'm just creating these loose shapes. They're not completely filled. I like to have spaces in them. Again, this is a messy, freestyle kind of abstract uh, look. So I'm going to be doing all the same flowers. You can add in different kinds if you want. Experiment with using the spatula. Just make it whatever your heart desires. Wow, I say that a lot. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding flowers wherever I feel like there should be flowers. They're all gonna be this mustard yellow color. And yeah. taking some red and I'm just adding that in for some definition to make the flowers pop. The red is kind of the darker color here, um, so I'll go back in with some yellow and just make sure that it's kind of blended together, not fully, but just um, to add some dimension to the flowers. Just following that kind of circle, adding some red in where there isn't yellow, just kind of defining the flowers. <laughs> Okay, so 
now I'm taking the blue color and I'm just gonna be adding it in on top. Remember, we're painting on wet paint so you can move things around, change them until you like them. I love this kind of technique and the blue is just for highlights. So anywhere that I feel like there should be a highlight in the flower, obviously it's not um, logically correct, but just anywhere I feel like there should be a little highlight, that's where I'm gonna put it. Um, so go ahead and highlight to your heart's desire. Okay, I need to figure out a different phrase because this is just getting annoying to me. But anyways, I'm moving things around until I get the kind of shape for the flowers that I want. product it's super messy um, but it's really kind of fun you can add a whole lot more if you want other colors on top like in these spaces um, but I really like the messy look and I think it just adds kind of a really fun element so and it's super fun to do because you're just like doing whatever you want basically so okay so that's how you do those flowers it's super messy um, just kind of a chaotic scene, but honestly, I really like that look. I think a lot of people do, hopefully. Um, and it's super easy to do. Like, honestly, it probably took me 15 to 20 minutes to do that piece of art. And um, it's just really fun and really freeing. So even if you just wanna do it like as a hobby to relax or whatever, super relaxing, super fun. Um, and it's not very technical at all, just kind of, putting things where you want them to be. Um, so if you want to see more videos from me in the future, please let me know in the comments or like this video um, because I honestly didn't think I was going to do any more, but doing this video, I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to do some more. So let me know you, what you want me to, let me know what you want to see me paint and I'll see you guys next time.